hello guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to talk about the image search library this is a library that will help you search for a particular image on the screen using auto it so in this image search we are going to discuss four functions that will be the image search image search area weight image search and weight images search what this does is the image search function searches for a single image on the screen image search area searches for a single image on a given area let's say 100 by 100 pixels that's the only area it will search for for the weight images such <coughs> uh, what it will do is wait for an image for a particular time let's say 10 seconds 20 seconds if you want an image uh, that appears late and then finally we'll discuss the function weight images such so this one will wait for multiple images, not only one. So this one is helpful mostly in games or if you want to automate similar things. First of all, we want to download. To download this one, uh, go to your browser and head over to auto it forums. Now search for image search. And scroll down till you find this post image search usage explanation by centrally you don't worry I will just uh, paste this link in the description you don't have to do all these steps now go to the third page and scroll down till you find this user guest scripter uh, for me the thing that worked for me was this post the one that, uh, there's a lot of people who changed the script the original one most of them work, most of them don't work, but for me this one works. So what you want to do is download this image search.zip. So once the download is over, you can you get a zipped file, so you can use 7-zip or WinRAR. Or actually you can just extract it uh, with Windows default extracting tool. Now you can open the image search 2015 folder and what you'll find is these six files and folder. So these DLLs, what I had is they were imported from AutoHotkey, but they will also work on Auto8. I don't know why Auto8 doesn't have an image search function natively. Uh, maybe it has and I don't know, but for now this one works. So what you want to do is open the image search 2015. You can open it with the notepad, uh, you can open it with site, or you can open it with Visual Studio. I'll be opening it with site. Uh, site is a great editor for Auto8. Mm -hmm. Now what you want to do is go to line 5 right here and just just write require admin. Once you write require admin, click on tools and click on go. It will ask for administrative permission and then it will open notepad and it will capture a screenshot of notepad. Which means that uh, the UDF is working properly. properly. Now just delete the require admin and go to line number 16. In here you'll find local p testing is equals true. So what we want is not to test but to use the UDF. So just change this one to false. And finally scroll down till you find uh, line 67 where it says exit. Just delete this. Uh, for some reason if exit is there, the image search will not function well because instead of uh, returning a result, it will exit the program every time you run it. Once you do all that, uh, go ahead and save or click Ctrl S to save. Once you save, just go to the file again and you can delete this 24.pmb because it's just a screenshot of Notepad. We do not need it. Now what you want to do is uh, create a new file, a new folder called images. Just to be tidy, we'll be placing all our images, images inside of here. So once you create the images folder, now we can take the images you want to find on the screen. So to capture an image on the screen, just search for the snipping tool, uh, click on new. And let's say we want to find this cutting tool and we can save it on our images. Let's just say cut.png. We can also find the recycle bin. And we can call this one delete.png and let's just take another image let's say we want to find the um, the folder icon right here and we can also save that one as folder.png 
So if you go to our images, you will see you will see these three images: the cutting icon, the delete, and the folder. So this will be the ones you'll be finding on the screen. Okay, once you are done taking the images, uh, you need to create your script. And to create a script, you should not add that script into any folder. You want to add it inside this folder, image size 2015. Just click, right click, and click on new, auto it script, and call it something like image searching. So let's just open this one in sight. And right now, first of all we need to include the image search file just click on include image search 2015.au3 enclosed with double quotes because this one is not in the main file or main folder so the image search function takes six va variables or six arguments the first one is the target image and this will be set to the image we want to find the second one is the position to return uh, wherever the image was found uh, we also want that the, the image's x coordinate if the image is found we need its x coordinates and we'll, we also need its y coordinates we also need the tolerance level of that image and its transparency level the, what the tolerance level is uh, how much the image can look like the original image so our target image uh, we will set it to the file uh, to the folder images cut.png that was uh, this image cut.png which is in our in our images folder uh, the position to return this one can either be 0 or 1 if we place 1 which means that it will return at the center coordinates of the image if we place 0 here then it will return the left top corner right here so let's leave it at one so that it can return the center of the image uh, for the x and y coordinates right now we can just set them to zero because uh, there'll be a value that will be returned once we run the script the tolerance level we can set it to zero if we want to get the exact image but what I found mostly helpful is if we set to 15 this one works even better but for now let's just set it to zero for the transparency level also we'll set it to zero since our image is solid and it's not transparent now we can place another variable called uh, result image search and this one will hold the results of the image search now we can include our function that's the image search function and the image search function takes all these variables so we just uh, place them right over here now this image search will return two values either one or two and it will be saved in this so if it returns one that means it's successful if it returns zero it means the image was not found so we want to do something with it if the image was found and the results was one then we want to do something let's say we want to move our mouse to the target image so the target image is x coordinate we already have it and also its y coordinates we can also just write an else statement and we can place a message box which will return not found so now the image is not on the screen now if you run this just click on tools and run you'll find out that it will say image not found because the image is not on the screen now let's try to place the image on the screen so this is the cutting tool and now if we run since the image can be seen it will move our mouse right here so let's just click on tools and go and as you can see it moves the mouse to the image so what i was saying before was the position to return if we set this one to zero it will return to the top left instead of the center of the image as you can see here it went to the top left of the image so however you want to use for now we are going to set it to one just click on go and as you can see it moves the mouse right over there so guys uh we just discovered the image search so we have another three videos remaining the second one will be image search area the third one will be image wait for image and wait for images i'll be posting this second video tomorrow just click on here to find it out thank you for watching and goodbye